Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat. Today we're back for a very exciting video. We are unboxing the brand new MacBook Air Supercharged by M2. If you guys know, I have been so excited about this ever since I saw it at WWDC Apple Park last month and I cannot wait to unbox this with you guys. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and how I set this up to look super aesthetic. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. Ooh, I have it in midnight, which I think is my favorite color. I showed you guys on TikTok and Instagram all the colors from WWDC. I will put them up here so you can see as well. The four beautiful finishes are silver, starlight, midnight, and space gray. And we have the matching midnight power cord. Let's unravel it. I love that it matches, honestly. La la. Of course, we have our. Ooh, I'm excited for the stickers. I love this color. Very nice. And of course, we have our dual. Yes, I've been excited for this. I can finally charge two things at once. Look at that color. You guys know how much I love that sound. Oh wow. I'm more in love with this color than I remembered, than I thought I did. It is so light. You are beautiful. Super light, 2.7 pounds. I wish I had something this light in university because I was carrying a heavy MacBook back then. So this is super light. I remember the first time I picked it up at Apple Park. I'm not kidding you. I picked it up like this because I didn't realize how light it was. So now I just gotta be a little more careful. I'm so excited to get it all set up. Let me show you. I love how it already has the accessibility features right there for everyone's individual needs, which is really great. Hi, I'm, hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in system preferences. I'll set it up later, not now. I love setting up a new Mac. Oh, we have Touch ID as well, so let's get this set up. All right, I want to test out the new webcam because we have a 1080p camera. So let's try it out. Also, the brightness, it is 25% brighter screen, which is quite evident when I'm using it right now. Wow. Okay, let me record something so you guys can see. Hey guys, I'm here with the new M2 MacBook Air testing out the new webcam. This is with lighting right in front of me and my lights on behind. We actually have a four speaker sound system in the new MacBook Air. I'm very excited to try it out. The mic and speakers are actually integrated in the keyboard and display. So I'm gonna put it as high as it can go and let's test it. <laughs> This is so loud. I'm actually shook right now because 
this is so tiny, but it is extremely loud. I feel like I don't need to put things in external speakers when I'm listening to music in my room. I can just play it from my MacBook Air. Wow. The new MacBook Air actually takes up 20% less volume than the previous generation. Did I mention it has a fanless design so it is silent? The M2 brings amazing performance. It has an 8-core CPU, up to 10-core GPU, as well as 50% more memory bandwidth. The new MacBook has a bigger, brighter display and all-day battery life up to 18 hours. All right, we are going to be customizing it to my aesthetic, so let's begin. First, I'm going to System Preferences and clicking on General. I think I'm going to do it as Auto and the accent color to be pink. All right, for my desktop screensaver, I want to have it as the Hello option. I really like that one. I think it looks really cute. Now, we are going to go to Canva you're gonna create a custom wallpaper all right you're gonna go to create a design and then search for desktop wallpaper I usually search desktop wallpaper aesthetic or if you want a calendar for example if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen that I have done a bunch of these wallpaper tutorials before so I'm excited to finally make it with you guys all right let's choose this one now that I found a template I wanted, I'm just going to change the colors, the fonts, and just play around with the different effects that Canva has. I'm also going to upload a new photo into the center and make it custom to what I like. After playing around with it for a little bit, I figured out exactly how I wanted it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Check it out. Now I'm going to show you this fun little hack to make your folders look cute. I headed back over to Canva and I'm going to find some cute little photos. I'm going to use these butterflies because it matches the aesthetic and change them to different colors. Make sure you save this as transparent background. All right, now that we have that saved, go over to your folder and click on get info. Then you're going to get your little transparent photo, click command C, then select the tiny folder in the top left and go command V. You're going to keep doing that with all of your folders. You can also change the font of them as well by just copying and pasting a font from the internet. Now I'd like to go click on view and then show view options and you can actually change the size of your folders as well. Now I'm going to add in a few sticky notes. I love having custom fonts on my stickies. I think it adds a special little touch to it. So I'm just going to go in and change it to the same font that I used in Canva earlier. This is the final product and I'm absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. It is really aesthetic and honestly it makes doing work a lot more fun and enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed how I customized it. It was super quick and easy to do. If you follow my mini tutorial I just did, you could have a really cute and aesthetic wallpaper as well. I'm so excited to see yours. If you decide to create one too, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Creative so I could see.